Howdy folks, it's Howie here. Howie the cat that's gonna read to you again. Um, this is Elena of Avalar from Disney. She's one of the uh, newer Disney princesses, not in a movie, but some shows and whatnot. And this is Feliz Navidad, A Royal Christmas. This is from a series of Disney books like this. the first Christmas one. I've not seen any of uh, the Elena stories. We've got our characters here. Elena, as the crown princess of Avalar, Elena rules the kingdom with help and advice from her family and friends. Isabel, Elena's little sister, is also a princess. She is very smart and creative. Naomi, Naomi is one of Eleanor's, Elena's best friends. Her father is the Arbor Master for Aval Avalar City. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Francisco, Elena's uh, grandfather. He always has a song or a story to share. Esteban, Elena's cousin, knows all about Avalar's history and traditions. We've got here Christina. Christina is Isabel's best friend little sister's best friend and she lives in a village outside Avalar City. Luisa. Here. Luisa, Eleanor's grandmother, would do anything to protect her family in Donna Paloma. Donna Paloma is the leader of all the shop owners in Avalar City. Okay, so that's our players here. Feliz Navidad, everyone, Princess Elena calls to her family. This is Elena's favorite time of year. She especially loves helping her family decorate the castle for the holidays. We've got all our family gathered. She's in her wheelchair. I didn't know she was wheelchair bound, but she is. Christina's here, shouts Elena's sister, Isabel. She's excited because her best friend has come by to wish her Feliz Navidad and to exchange gifts. Isabel has a special surprise for Christina. Isabel gives Christina her present, a beautiful engraved box full of art supplies Isabel designed to fit into onto Christina's wheelchair. It's perfect, says Christina. Let's make a Navidad piñata, says Isabel. It's a family tradition. Christina's father thanks Elena for being so kind to his family. Would you like to come celebrate Navidad in our quiet village, he asks. Elena is honored by his request, but before he can answer... Everyone's got something to say, looks like. Armando, the head of the castle, pops up. Pops in. Um, Princess Elena, you have a few visitors. Well, more than a few. Elena's friends and subjects from all over Avalar have come to invite her to their Navidad celebrations. Naomi says there will be a festival at the harbor. Mateo asks her to join his family in their village the merchants want Elena to celebrate with them in the town square. But our family always spends the holidays together at the castle, says her grandfather, Francisco. I wish I could celebrate with all of you, but I can't be five places at once, says Elena. Everyone wants the poor girl to go there to visit. Elena comes with the perfect solution. Let's go to Castillo Park and celebrate Navidad all together. We can learn each other's holiday songs and traditions. Everyone loves this idea. We're going to have so much fun, says Elena. There they are going to Castillo Park. <clears throat> I'm going to make so much money, says Dona Paloma. Who owns the biggest store in town? She 
she convinces everyone to build holiday floats for a parade to impress Princess Elena. I can't think of a better way to see who has the best Navidad tradition in Elena and Avalar, she tells each group. If you want to have the best float, you need more flowers, more candles, more, more, more. She's the sales lady. Everyone needs more, more, more. They rush to Donna Paloma's store to buy as many decorations as they can carry. Before long, she has turned the celebration into a competition. In a quiet corner of the park, Isabella and Christina work on their pretty pinata star. That looks beautiful. The girls turn and see Elena. She's wearing a gorgeous Navidad gown. You look beautiful, exclaims Isabel. Meanwhile, the villagers are getting carried away, making their floats bigger and bigger. More fireworks, more fountains, more, more, more. Elena is worried. Navidad is supposed to be fun, not a contest. And then disaster. Crash. Whoosh. Two floats go out of control. They crash into each other and set a Navidad tree on fire. Thinking fast, Elena leaps into Naomi's float, which is a huge fountain full of water. Help! Help me put out the fire, Elena shouts. They dump the water on the fire, but that only causes a flood, which carries the burning candles, which lit all the fireworks, which go off with a great big kaboom. He was smart enough to cover his ears. I wish I would do that when the goats scream sometimes. Oh no, shouts Christina as the fireworks hits their pinata. It falls to the ground and bursts open. Our pinata is ruined, cries Isabel. The parade is over before it can even begin. The townspeople start to leave. There won't be a celebration after all. Christina's father starts to take her away. Please don't go, says Isabel. Christina begs her father to let her stay, but he insists they must go home. Oh. Ellen is so disappointed. She wants everyone to share the joy of Navidad together. But what happens, Naomi? Why couldn't everyone work together on the parade? Elena sighs. I think I might know where the trouble started, says Naomi. You do? Tell me, says Elena. It was Dona Paloma's idea. Elena goes to see Dona Paloma. Shouldn't you be at the parade? Dona Paloma asks. There are no more parades, Elena replies. You made everyone so competitive, they wound up crashing all the floats. They could always buy new decorations, Donna Paloma suggests. Oh, so dramatic she is. Elena takes Donna Paloma outside to see the mess. Navidad isn't a competition, and it isn't about making money, says Elena. It's about being with the ones you love. I can see your point, Elena, Donna Paloma says. Maybe I did get a little carried away. Is there something I can do to help? Elena sees a guitar hanging in the store window and gets an idea. Maybe she can help everyone remember the true spirit of Navidad. Elena sings a song. It's not all the gifts, the food or decorations but the spirit of love that marks this celebration. God, I sing so good, don't I? Elena's beautiful voice draws the townspeople back to the square. Soon they begin to sing along. Elena leads them on the paranda. Together they walk through town, singing the songs of Navidad. Even Donna Paloma gets in the spirit. Look at her, she's singing away. Elena stops to pick up a special friend. Elena 
Helena leads to the Paranda, back to Abelar Palace. You need nothing more than to than those you adore on this holiday. Let love light the way. Isabel can't believe her eyes. Christina's back. Isabel and Christina reunite with a huge hug. Feliz Navidad, Isa, says Elena. Isabel beams from ear to ear. This really is the best Navidad ever. That's the end. The end. There it is, an end. All right, folks, that was a little Christmas reading from Howie Cat. We'll try and do a few more of those this year, hopefully. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks again. Bye-bye.